I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I am going to discuss what do I mean by amplifiers and what are the types of amplifiers. You know, amplifier is a signal conditioning device. Output of sensor or any type of transducer, the signal strength will be very weak. In order to give the strength for the signal, definitely we need amplifiers. There are different type of amplifiers. We will be familiar in different type of amplifier in this session. First and the foremost, why amplifier is required? We will understand what is the purpose of amplifiers. You know, amplifier is an electronic device that increases power of a signal. One more important point you have to notice that it doesn't take energy from power supply and controlling the output to match the input signal with respect to the shape aspects. Also, it makes the output signal stronger than input signal. The input signal actually based on the output of sensor or transducer, but that signal does not have that much of strength. So by using amplifier, you are going to provide the strength for that particular signal. Now, one important term I want to tell you, if you talk about amplifier, you need to understand what do you mean by gain. The ratio of output signal to the input signal is generally called as gain. It is denoted by the letter capital letter G. Gain is also known as amplification factor or magnification factor. So mathematically you can write G is equal to I naught by I A. So these are the basic introduction to amplifiers. So amplifier can be categorized into one of the signal conditioning device. Hope you got my point. Now moving on to the classification of amplifiers. Amplifiers can be broadly classified into four types. Mechanical amplifier, fluid amplifier, optical amplifier, finally electrical and electronic amplifiers. We'll have brief discussion individually. Moving forward, let us understand what do we mean by mechanical amplifier. A mechanical amplifier which amplifies the magnitude of mechanical quantities such as force, displacement, velocity, acceleration and torque in linear and rotational system. I mean the following parameters such as force, displacement, velocity, acceleration, either linear torque or rotational torque that is going to amplify with the help of mechanical amplifier. In case of mechanical amplifier, no additional energy is required. That is another speciality. Various examples of mechanical amplifiers are simple and compound lever. Then simple and compound gears which is used in your automobiles. Then gear trains. Gear train is one of the example of a control system, gear trains. So what gear does exactly? You, it will transfer the mechanical quantity either in the form of speed or velocity it will be transferring from one point to another point that is a function of uh, mechanical gears so mechanical gear is a typical example of mechanical amplifier you can see how the gear train works you must have studied the control system the control system modeling of gear train two meshing gears transmit rotational motion that is the purpose of gears which is used in your automobiles with a different number of teeth, you can able to see the different number of teeth in particular gear. Uh, the different number of teeth between the input and output gears, torque and velocity can be either amplified or reduced. That is what exactly happening in case of gear train. Torque and velocity, either it is getting increased or reduced, depends on the applications. Another example is liver. You can able to see a liver. A liver can be amplified either displacement or force as you can shown in the diagram. Okay, so different type of cantilever supports are available that is actually mechanical amplifier. What are the setbacks of mechanical amplifier? The main problem is internal loading issue. Because the control system, whatever the structure is there, that is going to consume little bit of power. And the friction loss, that is another issue of the mechanical amplifier. Elastic deformation is also another factor. Then certain amount of backlash present in the system. These are the various setbacks of mechanical amplifier. Now I will be discussing another type of amplifier that is called fluid amplifiers. So amplifiers works based on fluid power. What, is the what are the examples of fluid? 
liquid is an example of fluid gaseous is the material that is an example of fluid so the fluid amplifier works based on the interaction with fluid it follows the movement of fluid mainly it depends on the motion of fluid here there is no moving part that is one of the added advantage fluid amplifier operates based on one of the principle called fluidics fluidics is nothing but fluid plus certain amount of logic certain logic generally we call it as fluidics you can see the interaction of uh, the particular fluid different fluids in a particular area yeah, as you can see this is your supply and we have the certain area called vent and uh, this is your control section and we will be getting output like this here the interaction of uh, interaction region this is actually the interaction region where the amplification takes place in this particular interactive region and you can see this is an example of fluid amplifier so we have supply uh, this is your control part and these are the vent and uh, output will be here only definitely uh, the particular fluid that is getting expanded or contra contrast or expansion something will be happening here so this is the way how the fluid amplifier works there are two type of fluid amplifiers one is hydraulic amplifier another one is called a pneumatic amplifier hydraulic in the sense related to water na no? hydraulic amplifier moving on to the hydraulic amplifier so the piston movement is a best example of hydraulic amplifier there will be fluid so depends on the requirement uh, the piston is going to move in the cylinder displacement there is a suitable displacement takes place in this particular piston cylinder movement in your automobile and all you can able to see this kind of movement brake hydraulic braking system definitely piston cylinder movement is applied it works based on the principle of pascal law you must have heard about pascal law when a small displacement is applied to a piston operating inside a cylinder containing some liquid there are large displacement of the liquid in the output which has smaller diameter this is exactly based on the pascal law which is applied for braking system so hydraulic amplifier is one of the best example one of the example i want to tell you the braking system hydraulic amplifier can be used in the mechanical braking system clear so this is your movement for a small force there is a, a higher displacement that is a principle of hydraulic amplifier when it comes to pneumatic amplifier pneumatic in the sense it is related to pressure okay so here we require an uh, air air supply then there is an orifice meter uh, then there is a nozzle and here is a flapper so now you can able to control the movement of flapper by adjusting uh, the what the particular air supply through orifice at the nozzle pressure is highest okay so uh, the, uh, we can able to set the pressure here 3 to 5 pascal so based on the air supply and uh, the orifice which is provided the movement of flapper can be controlled that movement of flapper that is termed as amplification so that is called pneumatic amplifier based on the pressure you can control the displacement regarding the optical amplifier so an optical amplifier is a device that amplifies optical signal directly and there is no need for converting optical signal to electrical signal that is one advantage optical amplifiers are important in optical communication system especially ofc okay optical fiber cable and all uh, the same principle is getting applied total internal ref reflection you might have observed there is no feedback in optical amplifier in light amplification by simulated emission of radiation laser without feedback is called optical amplifier laser without feedback is generally called as optical amplifier also the gain depends on the wavelength light intensity and the amplifier medium in optical amplifier changes in the angle of incidence and angle of reflection takes place that is what exactly happening in case of optical amplifier now we can able to see that we require an active medium okay in inside the optical fiber cable glass is an active medium and we have optical input signal uh, then uh, there will be coupler coupler at the input and output side it will be helping to transmit through the particular medium itself and prevent the losses also we are able to get the amplified output signal at the receiving end side to control there is a pump source to provide the continuous wave we are we are having the pumping source so this is the what this is what how the optical amplifier operates what are the examples of optical amplifier optical levers laser uv galvanometers mechanical pointer galvanometers are the examples of optical amplifier moving on to the fourth one electrical and electronic amplifiers 
electrical amplifiers are used to increase the magnitude of weak voltage or weak current signal resulting from the electromechanical transducer. Output of the signal that is that may be in the form of voltage or current for example sensor output current sensor output of the current sensor will be very much weak so using any electronic amplifier you can able to amplify the signal amplify the current sensor signal amplify the voltage signal sensor so that these are the things which are happening in case of electrical and electronic amplifier what are the desirable properties of electrical and electronic amplifier it, it should have high input impedance okay uh, so that uh, it uh, ensure the isolation low output impedance you can easily get the output voltage or current at the load side then frequency response should be as good as that of the transducer so these are the desirable properties of a good electrical and electronic amplifier the ideal characteristics of electrical amplifiers are as follows it should have infinite gain it should have in infinite uh, input impedance and uh, zero output impedance is preferred at low noises Instant responses, wide frequency bandwidth is preferable, zero output for zero, zero input, that is another speciality. Ability to reject unwanted signal, that is another speciality, it should have been there for a particular electronic amplifier. If before studying the details of electronic amplifier, you need to study the important mathematical expression. We have VI is the input voltage, IA is the input current, V0 is the output voltage, I0 is the output current. Therefore, gain is known as output power to the input power. Output power can be written as V0 I0 by V1 I1. So, voltage amplification can be written as voltage output by voltage input V0 by v, v I, v I. Current amplification can be written as current output by current input I0 by I I. You can calculate the power, power, gain, power, the gain power you can calculate. Log 10 P0 by P I bell. If you want, you can convert into a decibel also that means uh, see how it is going to convert 10 into log 10 p naught by pa decibel similarly you can write the voltage and current in gain in, in the gain in decibel formula like 20 log v naught by v n log 10 to uh, log power to the it's 10 to the power actually and base 10 it's a base 10 current gain in decibel can be written as 20 log 10 i naught by i a decibel so these are the basic information related to electrical and electronic amplifiers. There are three subclassification of electrical and electronic amplifiers such as AC amplifiers, DC amplifiers and integrated circuits. Integrated circuit means uh, the combination of different elements which is integrated, which is embedded in a small chips that is called integrated circuit. The examples of integrated circuits are LM741, one of the OPAMP IC, operational amplifier IC. In the coming session, I am going to focus on the operational amplifiers. Before that, I want to discuss about AC amplifiers and DC amplifiers. The gain of the AC amplifiers is up to minus 3 decibel. Also capable of dealing with the rapid and repetitive signals. The AC amplifiers are simple and cheap. If I mention about DC amplifier, capable of amplifying static and slowly changing rapid repetitive input signal. Compared to AC amplifier, DC amplifiers are expensive. So, in this session, what I discussed is what is amplifier, uh, what is the purpose of amplifier, uh, classification of amplifiers. I have given the brief explanation about individual classification. You can refer the textbook of electrical and electronics measurement and instrumentation by AK Shoni. You can refer. If you are having any queries, please do put up in the comment box, in the description box, sorry, in the comment box. I can able to revert back. To your particular question. I am very happy to answer with you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.